Hey guys, welcome back. This is Summer again from Alibaba Cloud Database Product Chain. Previously, uh, we introduced 10 strats to your database and 10 tips to enhance your database defense. Now, uh, we're going to introduce a method to ensure you always use strong passwords, especially for those who are using open source MySQL. Okay. I don't know how many of you uh, have heard of components or we see it's a plugin named Validate Password. As I shown, the Validate Password component serves to improve security by requiring account passwords and enabling strength testing of potential passwords. This component exposes system variables that enable you to configure password policies and status variables for component monitoring. Here's my question. Why we can both uh, call the Validate Password to be a component or a plugin. That's because in MySQL 80, which is the latest version, uh, the validated password plugin was re-implemented as a component. But for uh, MySQL 5.7 and 5.6 previous versions, um, it is a plugin. And uh, uh, right now, it's still available. But in the future, maybe, uh, you know, just get removed. So it's better to upgrade to uh, MySQL 8.0, the latest version. Okay, let's see how to use it. First, go to RDS console on Alibaba Cloud and uh, find our test RDS instance. Let's choose MySQL 8.0 first. Click the instance. See the database account and log on to the database. Into the password, log in. Okay, we have already logged onto the database. First, let's see how a weak password is generated. Okay, um, let's create a user altogether. I think many of you may use this kind of uh, SQL statement every day. Okay, ask cute. Now we just create a user test with a weak password, which is horrible. And drop now, drop user. Okay, now uh, let's see. Is a component already installed? Select. Uh, there's no component like uh, validate password. Okay, let's install the component first. Install. Okay, down. Then uh, check the status. Yeah, it's good. And select some variables. As I shown, the component has already installed and this is the default setting uh, of this component. Only the password that with at least eight characters and including one uppercase, uh, one uh, lowercase, and one number can be accepted. Okay, uh, then let's try to create a user. Still use the weak password. Can it work? Yeah, cannot. Then let's change to uh, Strong password, password. Okay. It worked this time, and we um, use a very strong password. Okay, let's see the variables again. Do you notice the policy? Actually, there are three levels, low, medium, and strong. 
For more information, you can refer to the uh, official documentation right here. Low policy test password length only and media uh, as conditions uh, like, you know, uh, characters and strong based on the media. It also check your password uh, in a dictionary file. Okay, and you can change the level. Use this kind of statement. I will show you. Set global validate password policy to strong or media and low. Okay, if you are using database in a test environment, you maybe not need a very strong uh, password. So uh, if you want to uninstall the component, just use this kind of SQL statement. Okay, execute. Now let's check again. The component should be removed now. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, this is how we use this component in uh, MySQL 8.0. Let's see how to use it in uh, MySQL 5.6 or 5.7 because uh, in MySQL 5.6 and 5.7, it's not a component. We see it's a plugin, right? Let's choose a RDS instance. Okay, this one. Five seven. Account. Supreme user. Log on to the database. Super user. Okay, we have already logged onto the database. Let's do all the stuff again. First, try to create a user with weak password. Oh, successfully. Then drop the user. Now uh, check if the plugin is installed or not. If not, you will get empty result. Okay, then let's install altogether. It quite be, uh, you know, different from MySQL 8.0 because in MySQL 5.6 and 5.7, it's a plugin, not a component. Install plugin. Execute. Okay, successfully, and then select this component to see whether it's already installed. Yeah, we can see that. And then select variables. Similar, we have some, uh, you know, default setting about this uh, plugin. Um, the level of policy is media. It requires at least eight characters, including one um, uppercase character and a lowercase character and a special chart. Okay. Then uh, let's create a user use weak password again. See, can it pass or not? It should not pass this time. Yeah, it's true. Let's change to a stronger password. Okay. It should be executed successfully. Yeah, the user has already created. And now we can drop that. Drop user. If you don't want to use this uh, plugin anymore, um, how to uninstall? Well, as I mentioned before, in MySQL 5.6 and 5.7, it's a plugin, not a component. So the, the SQL statement is quite different. It should be executed this way. Uninstall plugin, validate password. Okay, successfully. 
Well, um, as you can see, it's very easy to use. So, uh, if you want to improve your database security by using strong password, move now and move quick. This is all for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.